Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto and today guys we are taking another cheeky look at Cardano and specifically when we might start seeing an ADA being listed on Coinbase. Quite speculative video Chris but um, we've got some interesting things we want to discuss in this video haven't we? Yeah you know we get asked all the time in every Cardano video would, would appear recently you know, <laughs> when Coinbase when are we going to get a listing on Coinbase? These are the sorts of questions we get. And, you know, I guess the time is quite fitting now. Um, yeah, we've got lots to, to sort of discuss, haven't we, on this one, Nick? And I think it's uh, going to be a good yeah. one. But stay tuned. Absolutely. So, guys, if you find it useful, informative, go ahead and smash that like button for Chris. He really appreciates it, as do I. And if you're new to the channel and you're not yet subscribed, do go ahead and subscribe. By subscribing, you'll be kept up to date with all the various videos and live streams that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. And with all that said and done, Chris, let's jump on over to the desktop and take a fantastic look at uh, some of the things that we're, we're going to discuss in this video. Uh, right, let's just jump straight over. Um, yep. So I guess the first thing that we need to talk about, Chris, is for anyone who doesn't know what Cardano is, we probably should just let you in on, I guess, the secret, right, of what Cardano is and what's going on here. Because if you've, if you've been managed to kind of, you know, hide away and, you know, been sheltering yourselves and you're just not familiar with uh, the cryptocurrency space, then you need to know what Cardano is because it's going to be a very, very big player in the future. Um, so much like Ethereum, right, uh, basically Cardano is a smart contract platform, although those smart contracts are yet to actually be issued or launched on the Cardano uh, blockchain. Um, so there is an update due, Chris. Um, you know, it's due within the next kind of month. Uh, we're expecting it uh, in March, basically, the Gogan um, era of the Cardano blockchain. And with Gogan going live, that would basically introduce smart contracts into, into the blockchain. So like Ethereum, which is a smart contract platform, you would have all that fantastic functionality. The main differences, however, between you know, Ethereum and Cardano is Ethereum's quite old technology and the way it approaches smart contracts is very, well, Let's just say you wouldn't necessarily be happy with it if you knew about it. Um, and Cardano, on the other hand, has been built up from scratch when uh, the co-founder uh, of Ethereum is the founder of Cardano. So knowing how Ethereum works, he's basically made something, in my, at least in my opinion, Chris, a hundred times better than Ethereum. And there's lots of other problems with Ethereum um, and that Cardano basically resolves. So Cardano ultimately is uh, basically a, 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 an Ethereum killer, uh, in essence, from a smart contract um, point of view. But it does more than just smart contracts as well. It does lots of native token uh, a, a similar way that, uh, you know, similarly to Ethereum as well. So um, really good stuff that goes on with Cardano. And um, it would not surprise me in the least, Chris, if we start seeing Cardano overtake Ethereum. Um, so it's looking like, you know, building a network blockchain um, that uses to extend, you know, monetary transfers. Cardano is home um, to the ADA cryptocurrency or ADA as uh, the community refer to it. Um, and basically it can be used to obviously send and receive digital funds, but it can also be used to pay for fees on the network um, and a whole host of additional things as well. So yeah, basically Cardano, um, we have done several videos on it, so do check those out. But um, it's well worth just understanding that uh, basically in the nuts and bolts of it, it's a smart contract platform like Ethereum, only better. Is that a good way to say it, Chris? <laughs> I, I think that's a modest way of putting it, Nick, for sure. Fantastic. So the next thing, Chris, we probably need to talk about is, you know, why Coinbase is such a big player um, for for coins being listed on there and what that basically means to the cryptocurrencies. Do you want to kind of walk everyone through that? Yeah. So, you know, I, I guess we're we're in a phase now. Right. And and, and again, this is where the, the video is quite speculative, but we've got a lot of new new blood coming into to the space, right? Um, so, you know, where Coinbase sort of sits within in that um, sort of, uh, I don't know how you could call it, landscape, I guess, um, is it's very easy to, to use. Um, so, you know, when you've got new, fresh blood, 
fresh meat coming into to, to, mm-hmm. to the market, as I'm going to put it, um, you know, they, they do gravitate towards a platform like Coinbase in particular because it's just so easy to use. And if you're, you're not from a trading background or you, you're completely like a novice to it, then, you know, it's a really good intuitive uh, platform for, for those individuals, right? It's made really simple. Again, great customer service, all that sort of jazz that you'd kind of expect from, from pretty much the number one sort of in the space um as i'm sure they would they would describe themselves um <laughs> but they always go down right um you know those of us that are in the space for a while would know that but um you know for for me um you've got the coinbase effect haven't you and and, and that effect which many t- talk about and you know um describers you know whenever a, a new project uh, is listed on on coinbase you, you, you do seem to to see them skyrocket, right? Um, so you know the expectation would be the same for for ADA as well, I believe, Nick. I don't know if there's anything you want to yeah, add. Yeah, I mean the Coinbase uh, effect is basically a pumping of the price of a cryptocurrency, right? So every time, and you see it time and time again, as soon as a coin gets listed on Coinbase, the the price of that particular coin um, gets pumped quite significantly. It's not by small percentages either. We've seen them in hundreds of percentage growths uh, within a very short space of time. And that's because there's so many people who use Coinbase. It's used because it's very easy to use, as Chris was saying. So um, when a coin gets listed there, the price basically just explodes in value. Um, And it has to come under, I guess, scrutiny from inside trading and that kind of stuff uh, in the past. Um, but the, ultimately, you know, dubbed the name Coinbase effect or exchange effect. It's basically named after a theory that cryptocurrencies that get listed um, on exchanges um, see these absolutely um, huge explosions in um, price uh, as well. So um, it's not always the case, though. There are sometimes that projects that are just don't resonate with people they just they don't necessarily perform well but you do have some really strange and wacky cryptocurrencies as well that do literally explode in value i think it's uh, if you've got the right kind of metrics behind your uh, cryptocurrency and it gets listed on coinbase it is uh, kind of like a recipe to uh, to do well um, so the coinbase effect you know sometimes doesn't live up to the hype but for the majority it definitely does and i think when it comes to cardano and the ada token um the coinbase effect will be in full swing and it'll be full force um, so, you know, Cardano price predictions based on, you know, a Coinbase listing would just be, you know, quite uh, off the chart, I believe, Chris, because there's going to be so yeah. much um, FOMOing, which uh, for those who don't know what FOMO is, it's just, you know, fear of missing out uh, all around um, the ADA token as well. So getting listed on Coinbase is a very, very crucial thing um, for many cryptocurrencies. And uh, I believe that... Um, you know, the ADA token at the moment or the ADA token as it stands today is doing incredibly well without a Coinbase listing as well. Um, so it would not surprise me, though, if things start to change in this in this regard. Right. So um, when could we expect to see, Chris, a, um, a Cardano or an ADA token being listed on Coinbase? What, what's your thoughts? So looking at it, I kind of feel like it's going to be, you know, relatively quick quickly after um, Gogan goes live. Um, so what a lot of people don't realize um, is that, you know, Cardano have been working with Coinbase, you know, and, and Coinbase engineers since like 2019, and they've got a very, very good relationship, right? Um, so there's no bad blood there as as many people have, have, have probably fought, you know, over a period of time. They actually get on very, very well. Now, you know, the, everything's set up you know, they, they can custody um, Cardano and all that sort of jazz, right? You know, the Rosetta stuff's all, all, all lined up, right? Everything that's needed to go yeah, live. Yeah, absolutely. They, they did that Rosetta integration last year, didn't they, Chris? Yeah, they did, yeah. So everything's in place, everything's ready. Uh, and I kind of feel like the fact that they're working together so closely, right? And you've got the, the Coinbase pending IPO. Um, so I think it would be good for them because I think it would make their company more valuable. You look at what Cardano, you know, has achieved recently in getting to, to third spot. Um, you know, it's going to also benefit Cardano. The fact that they've got a great relationship, and I think as Charles, as as, as his words put it, you know, uh, it's been a pleasant working with uh, Coinbase um, over that period of time. You know, for for me, 
it would be very fitting straight after, you know, Gogan goes live. You'd have the Gogan effect plus the Coinbase effect, um, which would be perfect for both parties. And that'd be my opinion. I don't know. What's your thoughts, Nick? No, I think you're right. I know. I think um, we've seen a lot going on here. Obviously, the rise of Cardano in the rankings by market cap. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we, we've seen it now. Obviously, you mentioned third, third spot. Obviously, technically, it's fourth, but we just disregard Tether because Tether just can't count. Not really. Um, so, yeah, it's gone up quite significantly across those rankings. And for Coinbase, they would be potentially wanting to list at least the top five cryptocurrencies, I would have thought, um, because, you know, they do take a percentage in uh, all the transaction fees, etc. Right. So um, it's in their best interest. And as Chris was saying as well, you know, ultimately, and um, during an IPO, they're going to want to increase the value of that, you know, of, of Coinbase in order to get the maximum amount of, of uh, you know, revenue generated from that IPO process. So um, ultimately, custodying and uh, allowing trading for, for ADA um, would significantly help that effort as well. So it would be good for um, Cardano. It would be good for um, IOHK or IOG now. Um, now it's now changed names. Um, and also... ADA token holders as well, um, as well as Coinbase, obviously, because uh, they'll get more from their IPO as well. So I think it benefits everyone. So it wouldn't be too surprised, Chris, if uh, we do see Gogan go live, we'll get that smart contract functionality as we enter that new era, and Coinbase then go ahead and list it. The multiplication factor on all of those uh, all of those series of, of, of positive events could be you know, fantastic to see the price of ADA really go up in value um, very, very sharply um, in 2021. I think it's going to be a really, really good year for Cardano, Chris. Yeah, um, you know, we, we've said for a long time, you know, if they're able to achieve everything that's in their roadmap, um, then it's going to be fantastic. And, you know, we, we didn't even take into consideration the stuff that was working in, uh, you know, happening in, in Africa and, and, you know, some of the other fantastic work that, that's happening in the background. It is going to be a phenomenal year, 2021, for Cardano. And I think it's only going to get better and they're going to get big, uh, bigger and stronger as, you know, the, the year goes on. It is really exciting, Nick. And, um, yeah, let us know what you think in, in the comments. Obviously, this is, you know, just nothing but but speculation. But, you know, um, we do like to do videos like this occasionally, don't we, Nick, to, to sort of, you know, just run, bounce ideas off of one another and, and you guys as well. So uh, do participate. Let us know in the comments what your thoughts are. And Nick, do you want to talk through the Cardano staking pool? Yeah, that'd be a fantastic thing to kind of uh, quickly talk over. So um, it was about, oh, it must be maybe a month or maybe even six weeks ago that we actually launched our own um, delegation pool, our staking pool for Cardano. So really helping that decentralization effort for the Cardano blockchain, we launched our own staking pool. Uh, and fortunately, guys, you can actually now go ahead and delegate into that pool. So um, you can be this pool can be found uh, via all the standard kind of Cardano wallet. So this is your deadliest wallet your um, URI wallet. Um, it could also be found on Ada Light wallet, right? As well as the Atomic wallet via the pool ID. Um, so, you know, it's very simple to do. If you're not currently delegating your ADA, then um, we do recommend actually delegating it because you're going to earn up to like 5% on average APY, right? So um, you'll earn, you'll make your money start working for you rather than working for your money and you'll earn a nice juicy reward, as you say, Chris, right? I do. That's how I put it. <laughs> juicy, reward. you, juicy rewards. And yeah. if you are currently delegating, fantastic. But if you fancy a bit of a change, maybe your pool is getting close to that saturation point and you want to actually move it over to a pool that's uh, no, nowhere near that saturation point at the moment, then do check out uh, the ticker cheat. Um, that's our pool and you'll be able to delegate straight in there and earn those juicy, juicy rewards with us. We'd love to have you there, minting blocks uh, together and helping the decentralization effort for Cardano. Um, And so with all that said, guys, if you have found this video useful, informative, then do go ahead and smash that like button. Chris really appreciates it. I really appreciate it. And I like to think that you all appreciate it too. And if by chance you're not subscribed, do go ahead and subscribe. By subscribing, you'll be kept up to date with all the various videos and live streams that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. And with all that said and done, we hope you have a fantastic day, guys, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Yeah, take care.